Hello to all my OT friends. It's Miss Jen and it's time to play OT. Today we are going to try to make a beach ball. I found this silly paper that already has a beach ball, but if you are brave and you have mom and dad help you, you can make a beach ball too. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get my marker I'm going to make a big circle like this one is, okay? And then it's just a couple lines and a little circle. So I think we could do it. Okay, so get your marker and your paper. Today I did um, a little bit thicker of construction paper um, so that we can glue on it, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is one big giant circle right around and a big circle, okay? Now, we're going to do a little circle inside, see? Then, we are going to make a line go down and touch the circle. We're going to go down and touch the circle. We're gonna go up, touch the circle, and down and touch the circle. One more, how about up and touch the circle? That way we now have a very big ball. Next, we put our marker away. Goodbye, Mr. Orange Marker. If moms and dad have to help you and you wanna trace on top when they're done, that would be nice practice. Just remember to stay on top of the line so it looks like a ball. Because then we're gonna trace with glue. This one is our squeeze glue. We're gonna to try to stay right on top of those lines. Okay, we might need more help. So we can say, Mom, Dad, Grandma, Grandpa, can you help me? I asked nice, so maybe they'll help. Ready, squeeze on top. Oh my goodness, go careful. Stay on the line, Miss Jen. Everyone try their very best. Whew. Okay. I made the big circle with glue. My orange is disappearing because I stayed on top of the line. Now I'm gonna squeeze and make the little circle. I'm trying to make it big lines um, with nice amount of glue because we're gonna put something on top. So there's one, two, three, four. If you miss, you can go back on top five. Now I have it. Okay. The reason we have this one is if you can't draw it, you can put the glue right on top of this paper. Okay. Next, you're going to need salt because this is going to be salt art. I have salt in a shaker and salt in a container. Sometimes I might want to pinch with my fingers and sprinkle it. Sometimes I might want to shake it on. Okay. We're going to need a lot, so I put it in a tray. I'm using the baking sheet so that I can put, let's see, put it back here. Some of my muscles will work like this and shake it right on top, okay? And that's gonna catch all the extra salt. Then, hmm, maybe I need to do a different kind. Maybe if I had some in a pile like this, I can use my fingers, pinch and sprinkle. You gotta get it right on top of that glue. Wow, I can hear it. All right, and then let's really make sure there's enough salt. It kinda looks like glitter. It's like really sparkling. Let's see, I'll shake it around a little bit and I'll make sure it's all over and stuck to all my glue. Okay, ooh, I did it. All right, do you see how it sparkles? And then we'll just knock off the extra. Ooh, I didn't have very much extra. I must've did good. Now, this is gonna be silly because we're gonna try to make it beautiful with colors. All right, so no more salt. Once the glue is on, you can let it dry and try later. That would make the salt nice and hard and crunchy. And then you could paint it 
or touch it with your finger, you would feel it going around. It'd be kind of fun. But right now it's wet and sticky, so we can't touch it yet. But what we can do, let's see, I found it, is get some water and some food coloring. If you have water paints, you could use that, but you have to have enough water to drip, drip, drip it on to our salt, okay? So I think what I'm gonna do is put a little bit in my cups like this today. And so I'm just gonna pour my water right on top. One, two, three, four. Whoop, okay. Then with help, because this one gets all over our fingers, we'll have to say, help me please. And the grown-ups can put a squeeze inside. That's gonna be yellow. Let's say that's gonna be green. One drip should do it if you have a little bit. Here comes num or <laughs> number. Here comes color blue. All right, and the last one, can you see? Red. All right, nice. Okay. Then I'm going to use a toothpick. I'm just going to stir it up. So now it's getting nice and colorful. Lots of water with a little bit of color to make it really pretty. And there we go. Four beautiful colors. Okay. Now this is where it gets silly because now we need to find something that can help us do um, the squeezing of the water from the cup onto my picture right here with the salt. So I think what we'll do is I have an old one of these and it'll squeeze up my little bit of water. If you don't have one of these, you can get an eyedropper, maybe a little baby spoon, or maybe a toddler spoon, that might work. Or maybe even just drip it and touch it with a little bit of a paintbrush, okay? I'm gonna try this one first. We'll see what what we like the best. Okay, first, oh, get that down. Okay, now I'm gonna pull it up. Okay. Now I'm gonna carefully drip, drip, drip. Right. So it just touches a little bit on top. And it's spreading and it's going. It's really kind of fun. Okay. How about I try that little spoon? We'll try that next. And I'll scoop a little bit. Okay. And then I have to go drip, 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 drip. Right on top again. Look at that. My beach ball's getting really pretty. How about the red one? Let's see. Right on top. All right. Let me see. We said if you didn't have a little one, maybe a toddler one or a little teaspoon. Let's see if that one would work. Only if I'm careful, I think. Drip, 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 drip. I think I would like an eyedropper, but I don't have one at my house. So that's what we have to sometimes just use what we have. And what I do have is the last one to try. Hold it in my fingers, mix it up into my water. It's very wet. And then I'm gonna to touch it right on to, there we go. And the other reason I have it on a tray, cause it's gonna get wet and you're gonna to have to let it dry for a little while, but that's okay because this tray catches the water and the salt, okay? And then when it's dry, it should be nice and bumpy. Look at that, it's like my special kind of salt art. I like it. Do you like it? All right, let me finish right here. And then we're going to say thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a very nice rest of your summer. And um, if you want, you can make other kinds. And then once it's um, nice and hard, I think it might be less drippy. Because right now I'm going to show you. My glue is starting to leak. Ugh. So we got to let it dry, okay? All right, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.